Hello, my soccer gamers, for the final uh, roundup for the day. This time, Africa Cup of Nations. Unfortunately, I, I mean, I saw Nigeria play um, Burundi, but I have not seen nothing from the other two games because they're just not showing it, and I feel a little bit sorry for that because um, those were the more interesting ones because they dished up some uh, surprising results. It showed today already that there is a lot of equality between the African teams or, you know, surprises are in the cards at any time, even when the big favorite Nigeria is playing. But let's finish up in Group uh, A, the game between the DRC, uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Uganda added 2-0 for Uganda um, in a weird jersey matchup. I mean, the, the blue and the red of the DRC against a red jersey, almost entirely red jersey of Uganda. Um, I mean, when I just saw the pictures, I thought this would be hard to tell apart. I didn't see any highlights. Would be interesting to see. Kadu gets the first goal for Uganda and Okwe in the 48th makes it 2-0, uh, handing Uganda a first win at the uh, the first win in this tournament. Maybe the first win overall, but not, not sure about that. Of course, it was played in the huge stadium in Cairo where yesterday it was sold out for Egypt. There were hardly any seats. And that's the one thing I have to say about the Africa Cup of Nations that um, unfortunately the unless Egypt is playing, there are not too many people uh, in the stands, which is a little bit sad. As I said, I saw most of Nigeria in Burundi. I actually liked that when the players ran onto the field, you know, they have this ball that the referee picks up, but they had this huge uh, CAF flag. It had to be pulled over and it was kind of makes you the ball falls down, quickly official comes to put the ball up to get the referee. It's just Africa at its best. I absolutely love it. Um, the stadium also, I mean, it's not a big stadium, it's an old-style stadium, it's Africa, that's what you want to see. Uh, I love this much more than those great, nice-looking stadiums that we have at the Euros or at the World Cup that all look a little bit the same. There's personality. At the, that's why I, I absolutely love the Africa Cup of Nations. I mean, if you don't know so far, now you know for sure. Um, the game was actually quite open, especially in the first half. Nigeria having the most of the possession, but uh, rather toothless most of the time. Um, but I gotta say, um, while it was maybe not the greatest game to watch, whenever a Nigerian player touches the ball, you could see they can do almost anything with the ball, but a little bit careless at times. But that was something I definitely could tell. Um, the first chance was in the 13th minute for Nigeria. I think it was Mikel um, who had... Um, uh, header uh, and right going back um, Burundi had a huge chance uh, where they should have um, scored through um, Cedric Amisi who was the best player for Burundi in the first uh, the, uh, the, the chance for Nigeria was by uh, Onuachu of course um, they even had a great chance to take the lead uh, th um, Burundi, I mean, where a header loops onto uh, the corner of the woodwork. Um, the goalkeeper, who had a very messy um, clearance before, where he just missed the ball, fortunately it didn't go in, um, but there he guided it and he made uh, good saves, but you know, you could see Nigerian goalkeeping, that might throw my pick completely out of the window. So Burundi was well in the game, gave Nigeria a game. On the other hand, uh, you could see Nigeria is the better team. And the second half, Burundi was uh, holding, laying back a little bit more, trying to get this point. And so what happens is Nigeria has chances. And in the end, Nigeria scores. And what a beauty it was. A back heel um, pass to... Uh, uh, to Igalo, who just came on a few minutes before that. Uh, also, Musa come on. I mean, the bench for uh, Nigeria is pretty good. Uh, Igalo takes it, uh, makes one touch and a second touch, and uh, past the goalkeeper inside of the post. Goes in 1 0 for Nigeria. Burundi has just in the last uh, ditch effort one free header that could have gone in. 
but in the end Nigeria gets an overall deserved win. I mean it was not a glorious performance but it was a well deserved win I would say. Uh, overall they had more possession, better players although I felt a little bit for Burundi. It was also an interesting jersey matchup. Um, I was a little bit disappointed by the Burundi jerseys, red and then a kind of a fade in there. I was expecting something a little bit more green in there of course Nigeria playing in these ones. I have not seen Nigeria lose in these ones except for the against France in the Women's World Cup. Yeah, forget about that. But the men, I have not seen lose them in these, so they should keep on going. And in the same group, the last match of the evening, again, I didn't see anything, but again, wonderful jerseys. If you see the Madagascar jerseys uh, here, also the Guinea jerseys, although the, I don't like the white colors, but the Madagascar jerseys are already a favorite of mine right here. The game ends 2-2 between Guinea and Maga Madagascar. Um, Guinea taking the lead in the 34th and then Madagascar uh, after the half turns it around and now I'm gonna butcher the names. Uh, Andriana Tenaina makes it 1-1 in the 49th and Andrea Mazzinoro in the 55th makes it 2-1. Madagascar is known for having really 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 long names. Um, did not hold longer lead in 66. There's a Kamano penalty for Guinea uh, makes it 2-2 and that's the game. The way the games end, both are level uh, with shots on target. Um, more possession for Guinea is there, the slightly, at least perceived a slightly better team. But hey, so we have now the following, I mean the standings in the group, uh, maybe not the most in interesting one, but uh, we have uh, Uganda being leaders group A, we have um, Nigeria leading in group B. And the matchups that are coming now is of course uh, Morocco against Namibia, uh, that could be interesting. Senegal against Tanzania, the first uh, match of the other big favorites. And Algeria against Kenya, the late match. So I mean there's quite some stuff happening that will definitely be interesting. Um, three bigger teams today. So let's see where I, where I go, which games I can actually see. I think I saw San Senegal, I can watch and probably will do so. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.